Others who believed like the professor were holed up in the western city of Zubdidi. This was now the center of resistance to the armed takeover by Mr. Shevardnadze's regime. The city was cut off, surrounded by vastly superior forces. I was the only foreigner inside. Nobody spoke a word of English. The attack was imminent. I was against it, goddammit. The Russians did it to make us fight with each other instead of with them. During the tempestuous negotiations, Kobalia fired a bullet through the ceiling and another through the floor. I filmed without understanding one of the torrent of words. The ordinary people of Zugdidi remained loyal to their legal president, Gamsahurdia, and their feelings were stronger than their motley band of fighters who had expelled the Putschist forces. When a delegation of politicians supporting Mr. Shevardnadze arrived to join the military negotiations, they found themselves cornered, assailed by a hail of outrage from the citizens who had suffered weeks of robbery, murder and abuse. Even with a gun, I couldn't kill him because I'm a woman. They're threatening me. What do they want from me? They already killed my child and now they're threatening me. Can anybody help? Here in Zugidi, do you see a single family which respects you? People don't want you here. Twenty people were killed in the city. How many were killed in Tbilisi? And the people who did it were dressed in uniforms just like yours. Minimum 15 to 20,000 Georgians will die if we can't agree. As negotiations stretched on into the night, it seemed that Georgian Brotherhood might prevail. But to fuel the conflict, lies appeared to have been deliberately spread. In the prison, captured pro Shevardnadze soldiers told us their commanders had told them they were going to Zugdidi to fight Muslim foreigners who had invaded from hundreds of miles away. It seemed they had believed it. This is part of a pan-Islamic political plot. One element, pan-Islam It was disinformation. We were told that the whole Kutaisi battalion was killed by Chechens. That is why we came here. We thought the Chechens were here. We were told that only four people survived from the whole battalion. The story was also put out on government TV. Whether it was mentioned at the negotiations by Mr. Shevardnadze's political delegation, we don't know. Hey, get rid of the camera. In fact, it was completely untrue. There were no foreigners, only angry citizens rebelling in Zugdidi. 